Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and it is time for a very exciting themed Disney subscription box. So my friends over at Mickey Loot sent me a Little Mermaid themed box because they are now kind of dabbling in the themed boxes realm. And oh my gosh, I have heard so many great things about their themed boxes and I am so excited because if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know The Little Mermaid is my ultimate most favorite movie, but that also means that the pressure is on because I have an extensive Little Mermaid collection, extensive Little Mermaid pin collection. Like, it's gonna be a difficult one to fulfill, but I am so excited to see how they did. Those of you who don't know who Mickey Loot is, they are a Disney subscription box company that is to your preferences. They have boxes that range anywhere from like $40 all the way up to $300. They also have a pin subscription box, which I opened recently, I'll link above and down below. Guys, best pin subscription box out there, period. Um, and then now they're doing a lot of really cool themed boxes. I know they have a Monsters Inc. box, which I love Monsters Inc. So I'm like, whew, thinking about that one. <laughs> I'm thinking about that one. Now, I don't recall how much the value of this box is because they did send it to me for reviewing purposes, but this is what the box looks like. It's super duper light, also super cute. And they also sent me, guys, they sent me a tube. Okay, so this is the first time I have ever gotten a tube um, for a Disney subscription box. Actually, maybe, no, not ever. I've gotten, I've gotten, um, uh, <laughs> I've gotten a couple tubes because um, I'm a big Backstreet Boys fan and I went to some VIPs and they always send you like a signed poster like later on in the mail. That is when I've received a tube. I'm pretty sure this is not a Backstreet Boys poster, but also not opposed to it. Um, I don't know how they would Little Mermaid theme that, but if they did, oh my gosh, Mickey Loon. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I will link all of Mickey Loot's information down below along with my promo code. I'll pop it up here on the screen for you. Be sure to use that promo code for a discount. I'm so excited to see what's in this Little Mermaid themed box, so let's get into it. Before we get started, I always do this, I'm so sorry. I have got to show you my sweater. So this sweater is from Hot Topic, guys. Um, excuse me, both sleeves have this embroidery on it. My best friend Jess from Oh My God Jessica, I'll link her channel down below. She texted me and was like, you need this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll pop my Instagram here. I'd love to connect with you on there. I love to have conversations with you guys over there. But I have casual Disney Friday at work, and this is like the perfect casual Disney Friday for work, especially because I live in Alaska and there's still several feet of snow on the ground. We have Scar, my trusty unboxing knife that has, <laughs> it's got a lot of fur on him. Um, I'm working on a song still. A lot of you had suggested uh, the Be Prepared song, but I can't use it because it has copyright to it. So um, right now we're just gonna go uh, That's what we, <laughs> that's what I had said previously and several of you were like, you know, that jingle kind of works. <laughs> um, but by the end of Mixed Mystery Box May, which is coming up very soon, I'm hoping that we're gonna have a good theme song for Scar. Ooh, oh, okay. So first off, we have a really cool concept art postcard of Ariel and Flounder. Check that out, that's pretty cool. It says, Jesse, we have found a few things that we think will make your day all the magic, Mickey loot. There is a spoiler alert card. We're not gonna look at that. That's gonna list out everything that was inside of this box and the value of it. So we'll go over that at the very end. Here is the top of the box. It says Mickey loot. Let's get started. Oh, it's squishy. <laughs> I like, I put my hand to like tear the paper away and it like went <laughs> I hope, oh, oh, it's okay. It's a, <laughs> it's an air pocket and <gasps> no. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. You guys have to see this. There is Dingle Hopper confetti. Let me see. <gasps> Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I am so popping this later and I am taking this out. <gasps> that is so cool. So, so Mickey Loot does create their own like air pockets with glitter, obviously, because the details. So Mickey Loot has been so great about details in their box. They also wrap every single item inside of their box, which is insane. Okay, so we have this, it's in a little, it feels like ears, I definitely think it's ears. So let's see what we've got. Oh, these are the new ones, oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh, okay, these came out. These are the new Ariel ears that just came out in Walt Disney World. Well, I should say Disney Parks, it's not just Disney World. And they have several versions of this. The last one they made, um, the ears were seashells. And now this one is a little bit different. Oh, it's so pretty. So we have the little purple shells as the bow. And then we have, oh my gosh, look at that shine. We've got the ears that look like the mermaid scales. Now, these ears I know in the parks go for $29.99. Let's try them on. I always worry a little bit about like the chunkiness of the glitter because like my hair gets stuck in sequins and so I'm always a little cautious to get ear oh these are so pretty to get ears that have large sequins but let's take a closer look oh gosh these are so beautiful could you imagine like being in the sunshine of Florida at the parks and like Oh, stunning. Okay, and then there's a large box down here. And so let's be really careful. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. It's really stuck in there. But it's so funny. I feel like Ariel is one of those princesses where they just always like continue to have different ear merch for her. Like, where is the Snow White ears? Where's the Belle ears? I know that there's some for Disney parks, but not a ton. Hmm, I also have the tube. So we have, um, we have the tube and then we also have this. So I think I'm gonna open the tube first because I have a feeling that the bigger box is going to be like the main item. Also, I was thinking, <laughs> like wouldn't it be hilarious if they like just sent me like a poster of like a close up of, of uh, Daddy Triton's abs? <laughs> um, I think it'd be funny. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work I go. I'm trying to get a thing out of a tube at home. Oh, 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 it's right here. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This looks like a vintage movie poster. Oh, I love the color. Oh, this is so like, this coloration is like so, like 70s. It is kind of overall, but you'll have King Triton and Ursula at the bottom. So let me try my best to show you little by little. So we've got Eric and Max in a little boat. We've got Scuttle, it says Disney's The Little Mermaid. Eric's castle is off to the side. And then here is Ariel and she's holding a dingle hopper in a clamshell. How pretty is that? We've got Flotsam and Jetsam. We have Flounder. And then we also have Ursula, Sebastian, and everyone's favorite daddy. Hashtag daddy though. Of course we couldn't have a poster of the little mermaid without them we also have the contract featured which is so fun and it does actually say hereby i hereby grant unto ursula the witch of the sea one voice for all eternity and so that's actually what it says in the film this is made of like really lovely cardstock um and it does have like a quantity at the bottom and it does look like it is signed in pencil so i'm wondering if this was something that they designed or maybe they are friends with an artist who designed this this is beautiful i am so excited about this what a unique item i'm so curious to know more about this hopefully in the spoiler alert card we'll be able to learn a little bit more about this we have another fully wrapped item now um this i it's so light i believe it's ooh grand jester studios okay so grand jester studios is a company that does statues similar to jim shore but they are more 
I don't want to say realistic looking, but more closer to the original animation rather than looking like they're carved. That's fair. And they also put a cover over the spoiler, which I love. Thank you for doing that. On the back, it says Disney Showcase Collection. And then here is the Grand Jester Studios um, top. Okay, so let's see what we have. It says, um, there's like a thing on the top that says, please remove very carefully. Okay, so this must be very fragile. Okay, so let's be very careful. <laughs> I'm like a bull in a china shop. Someone should probably do this for me. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of people that watch the channel are big fans of The Little Mermaid, but if you could choose a themed box, what themed box would you choose? Um, because I know they're gonna be looking for ideas. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, wow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. Five minutes later. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have seen pictures of this statue, but I do not own this statue, and oh my gosh, this might be one of the most beautiful statues I have in my collection now. Wow. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Okay, let me do a close-up. Here is the statue. Like, holy crap. Um, this is stunning. Let me do some close-up so you can see. So... It starts with um, like her hair being like wisped by this wave. And on the wave, you can see the bubbles. It is clear, which is really dynamic looking. You have flounder right by her side. Her little, look at her little dainty fingers. Like no wonder they wanted you to be careful with this statue. Look at how tiny and delicate her hand is. And I have to say, like, doesn't she look stunning? Sometimes the figurines of princesses can look really funky, um, but this one is beautiful. We've got another fish. And then again, this wave, look, is wrapping around her fin. Look how beautifully it's wrapping. Like, God, this is so pretty. And then here it goes all the way around the bottom, another fish. And then we have our friend Sebastian at the bottom, of course, like watching over Ariel as he does. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> uh, see, this is exciting because I would love to see more things from Grand Jester Studios because if they're capable of this, I mean, I'm surprised they're not as popular or more popular than Jim Shore. I'm just throwing it out there. Not that there's any shade or anything like that. I love Jim Shore, but I love how this, I mean, this statue is immaculate. And on top of all of this, I just redid my YouTube space. So my shelving is has just been um, redone. So I have the perfect place for this statue. Statue is gonna go on the mermaid shelf just beautifully. So I have like a mermaid shelf and then I have where she has legs on another shelf, which yes, that tour is gonna be coming very soon. But oh my gosh, Mickey Loot. Mickey Loot, this box was amazing. Okay, let's check out the spoiler alert card to see how much everything was. So the art print, Greetings from Under the Sea by Dave Perillo or Perillo, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, $69.18. The Disney Showcase Collection Grand Jester Studios Ariel, $60. Stunning. I mean, the, oh, I'm just obsessed with it. It's like so delicate and so pretty. I wish I could like hand it to you guys. It's so lightweight. I wish you could feel how dainty it actually is. And then the Ariel Sequin Minnie Mouse Ear Headband is $29.99 and anything with an asterisk beside it is from the parks, which these are from the parks. The other two items are not. This Mickey Loot box was a C ticket, so that's $150. And the total value that we got out of this box was $159.17. I have to know, what did you guys think of this box? You um, tell me down below. As a Little Mermaid fan, who has an extensive collection, I was actually very impressed that I didn't have the items that they sent. <laughs> like, well done, Mickey Lou. Like, that was really surprising. And I feel like I'm going to um, get good use out of all of the items. So I definitely approve. Two thumbs up. I would love to try another themed box just to see how it is. Um, because like monsters would be a really fun one. I'm just so curious like what they have in their other themed 
boxes. But again, if you've tried Mickey Loot, let me know down below. I would love to know what your experience has been like with them. I've had several people reach out to me and tell me that they have been really enjoying their boxes from looking Mickey Loot, which makes me really happy. I'm going to leave Mickey Loot's information down below and also my promo code and all the information that you need to be able to check them out. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below. Tons of Disney content is always headed your direction. I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN. Bye.